Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about chicken marsala. Today's recipe was submitted by Kathy Porter Wagner of Finley, Ohio. Kathy, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. Of course, you're seeing I'm trying another ca camera angle today. Hopefully I'm trying to get you so you can see all the prep area and get a little bit better view. Let me know what you think. See if you'd rather have it the other way or like this. What I'm doing now is sauteing some chicken breasts. Almost every marsala recipe that I saw calls for whole chicken breasts. I'm thinking, well, I usually do little things a little different anyway, so I've cubed mine into bite-sized pieces. I'm just having them sauteed right now. Time constraints, I've got them pretty much sauteed all the way down. And to that, I am adding chopped onions. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm also adding a few cloves of garlic. I like garlic and everything. I'm also adding cremini and portobello mushrooms. If you ever wondered what cremini are, you're thinking that's some kind of a exotic mushroom. No, creminis are just baby portobellos. That's all they are. So don't be fooled if somebody's trying to sell you cremini mushrooms for a lot more. A lot more than portobellos. They're just baby portobellos. Alright, we're just going to leave those saute in there for a little while. Bring the heat up here. This is normally done on a stove, as you can tell, because I'm not even going to use the grill at all today. I'm just using the grill to saute with. <clears throat> Actually, I'm also going to put fresh herbs in there. This recipe doesn't call for fresh herbs either, but hey, everything I do has fresh herbs in it almost. And I'm talking fresh. I'm talking right out of my garden about an hour ago. And I'm using peppermint, sweet basil, and rosemary. I think that'll give it a, just a really good flavor. All right, we're just gonna leave those saute for a few minutes. Actually, I'm gonna try closing the lid on this to see. See how it goes there. <clears throat> One thing I miss about Ohio is morel mushrooms. I love morel mushrooms. Love going hunting for them and then sauteing them in butter. Oh, the only way we can get morels out here is like this freeze dried. Yeah, that's it. Freeze dried morel mushrooms. If you can take a look at that, this little package right here, how much do you think this costs? Get this at Vaughn's for $9.99, right here. Think you couldn't make a killing out here with fresh morels? Are you kidding me? I want to thank everybody for their uh, submissions of, of the uh, show name. Just uh, This is what I'm talking about. It just seems to be what I say a lot. And I'll end it similarly. Looking good. Maybe up high. Let it sit there for another couple minutes. I also made up another individual race thing, like I did last week. These things are unbelievable. If you haven't seen these before. Made by Minute Rice. I mean, simple, simple. Take the top off, microwave for 60 seconds, and you got your rice. <clears throat> okay, tell you what, it's getting pretty good here, so what we're going to do now, add a little Marcello, Marsala wine. Not a lot, just enough to give it some good flavor. I have never cooked with Marsala wine before, so this is a new one to me. We'll let that come to a boil for a minute or so. Dude, it smells good with the wine. I'm using Marsala cooking wine. 
I have been told that there is a Marsala drinking wine. I'm not a wine drinker, so I, I wasn't sure where to look for it, and nobody at the stores I went to knew where it was at either. So I'm using the regular cooking wine. Like I said, I'm not a wine drinker, so that didn't do me any good. <clears throat> Well, like I was saying about these morels, man, $9.99 for that little thing. That's crazy. But I bought it. The only problem with these is once once you reconstitute them, they're, they're chewy and tough. Nothing like a regular morel. All right, Kathy, I told you this was a quick one. All right, we're sauteing now. Now we're going to add some heavy cream. A little bit of milk. Oh, this is really going to be good. Going with those fresh herbs in there. Again. Like I said, almost every recipe I saw said to use regular, the full chicken breast. <clears throat> now, the way I'm thinking, I'm doing my person that I'm cooking the meal for a favor by cutting their chicken for them. No need to cut it, I took care of it for you. A little convenience. Actually, I forgot to add salt and pepper. been with me for a week. At least I haven't gotten sick with it, just a stuffed up nose and a cough. I went to the CVS pharmacy the other day. The pharmacist suggested Robitussin adult cough syrup. Phew, it's some good stuff. So far it's worked. Still got the stuffiness, as you can tell in my voice, but the cough is pretty much, pretty much cleared up. <clears throat> and you guys got to try this rice. It's unbelievable. It's not getting any simpler than that. Unless you like sitting around boiling rice and hoping it comes out right. Personally, that's not me, but maybe some people like to do that. What we're doing is trying to get this thing to boil, thicken up a little bit. I'll tell you, Kathy, I think you're going to like it. And it doesn't get much simpler than that. I mean, we're basically done. All I'm waiting for now is to boil. Like I say, normally this would be done on a stove so you can get a little bit higher heat. Uh, the recipe calls for once you put the wine in to have it boil for two or three minutes, but I don't have that kind of time. Because as soon as it starts boiling, I threw in the cream and milk. And it's probably still not going to get as thick as I would want it because I just treated the time constraints. They upload these on YouTube now, and YouTube has a 15 minute max on their videos. So I have to get it, get it within that 15 minutes. If you have any uh, suggestions on how I can get this thing going faster or whatever, I'm trying to do a little bit of the cooking beforehand before I start recording. <clears throat> if you can think of anything else that I might be able to do to speed it up a little bit, let me know in the comments. Like I said, let me know how, what you think of this new setup. See if it helps you see any better or worse or what. 
And like I said, due to time constraints, you're going to just let that thing boil for another minute or so, maybe. Yeah, I really enjoy all the comments that people make from these videos. It's good or bad. I enjoy all of them. I'm certainly not a chef, probably not even a cook. Well, I guess I'm a cook, but I just like messing around in the kitchen. Just enjoy it. It's a, it's a fun time for me, a fun thing to do. Like I said before, I eat good twice a week at least. I'll eat good tonight and I always make up enough for a second meal and I'll freeze that and have it later in the week. I'm thinking about doing these videos twice a week so I can have at least four good meals a week. Oh yeah, we're looking nice and bubbly now. I don't know if you can see that or not. If you could give that another five minutes or so. It would be mighty, mighty fine. But, we're going to go with what we got here. All in all, I think it's pretty good anyway. Get some chicken, get some mushrooms, get some fresh herbs. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell you what, Kathy. This is looking mighty good to me. Kathy, tell me what you think. I think it's looking fairly good. Chicken Marsala. So now, Kathy, you can tell your friends and neighbors, laissez les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. And I thank you, Kathy, for your recipe idea, because now I'm getting ready to eat your chicken Marsala, and that's what I'm talking about.